my client. She's looking for a change, looking for a change, yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. So on this little tutorial, um, I'm going to be doing some cutting. I'm going to do a little bit of coloring, and then we're going to take her outside so she can see the sun. You know what I'm saying? So the first thing I'm going to do is just do a cut. Um, I, I, re I really could have just grabbed just the whole thing and just did a lob because she really wants a shortcut but um you know i wanted to leave a little something just in case she changed her mind um, but she was pretty adamant coming in the door that she wanted it short so not pixie short but enough where you would have to kind of line up the back of her neck to make sure that hair wasn't showing so yeah I'm sectioning it off and I'm doing this for you guys <laughs> and then I'm just gonna do um, some cutting next Okay, so we have finished the preliminary cut. It already has a really nice shape. I think it'll be nice. Hey, nephew. That's my nephew. His mom was at a meeting and she left him with me and he was talking. <laughs> so, yep, there is the hair. Yes, all those dead ends. Yep, had to go. Hey, girl. <laughs> so here, I'm going to go in with a copper red and I'm gonna start at the base and apply this color to her hair. She's getting partial highlights, which means I'm going to do color on that back half, and then what I'll do is go in with some lightener, and I'll do lightener in some foil, and then I would do color. Um, I do know some people who prefer to do the color process first, completely process them, so what that means is like this you see how i'm putting the color on so they would do this over the whole head and then rinse it blow dry it and then go back in with highlights um i worked at a salon with mostly caucasian women and i did have a, a co-worker who was caucasian and she did the same method but um i had found the other stylist got their clients in and out a little quicker when they did the the whole thing together so what I like to do is to highlight and color at the same time. Um, some people feel like, you know, the lines aren't as clean, but for me, I feel like with practice, with time, you could totally do it. So you see me, I'm going in, I'm weaving or doing a fine weave on that top half. And what I've put down, that's gonna be color, but the foil section is gonna be where the highlight is. So I'm going in, I'm gonna put that foil section down and I'm gonna add my little lightener there. And I'm gonna turn my brush to the side to feather the lightener near the scalp. So it would be, um, it would be a softer line. And then you fold that thing on up and you flip it and then you put your color right up underneath. So you do that, you continue this process throughout the whole head. And for me, it just works. Um, and also you see right at the scalp, I didn't get the lightener right up close to the scalp. I actually left a little bit. So for me, what that does is when I do this little layover part, that part will have color. Um, and so it'll kind of give it like a little bit of a root smudge, uh, unintentionally. So yeah, that's what we're doing now. We're just gonna continue to do that through the whole top of her head. Now here's where I will kind of tell on myself a little bit. Um, consultations are so important and strand tests are so important. Don't ever let the client rush you, your process. Um, this woman, you know, I did ask her those pre-colored questions and she hadn't had color in years and years, right? Well, it turns out 
um, she did have some color on there. So the copper that I so lovingly placed um, basically was still really dark because color cannot color color. So I ended up having to, um, the, the hair on the ends were dark because she had used like a box dye at some point and it was, it did not lift. Um, now had I did like a soap cap or a lightener, then it would have lifted you know, I would have been able to lift the whole head and then go back in and do low lights. But because she either didn't remember or it was just, you know, I should have just done a, a strand test on her to see. Um, you can see it's where it's still really dark. Those spaces where it's supposed to be red, it's dark. <laughs> but she's loving it. She's loving the brightness of it. Um, what I didn't show on the camera is the fact that she had a hot root. So I ended up having to tone the entire thing down, which she was not happy about. <laughs> it still looks really pretty, but I had to tone everything down because her root was, was the red that we were going for and the ends were black. So here we are after the silk press and once she saw it straightened out, she loved it. Um, she did say she wanted to come back in and get some, some more highlights, maybe just to pop or kind of do like a little money piece, but she actually really loved the uh, final result. And then this is me before I cut the, did the final cut. Um, remember I said I left quite a bit so that she could see it and decide if she wants to go a little bit longer but nope she still wanted that shorter cut so that's what we did and you can see the blonde the um the kind of copper red highlight there it's really really pretty so here the next shot we're going to see is me going in with my clippers and doing a bit of a clipper cut my video actually cut out before i could finish recording i think maybe my phone was dying or something but if you look you could see her roots they're still a little bit more red than the ends and we're cutting off those really really dark ends but this is what we have wow look at how gorgeous this hair is healthy it is shining i did do an olaplex, olaplex treatment on her um, and i also did go back in and line up that back and kind of clean that color up off of her neck i couldn't see it in the, the dimmer lighting but when we got outside i was like okay let's go back in here and take care of that so but she loved it she absolutely loved it and i loved doing it um i'd say from start to finish we were in the salon for about three and a half hours all right guys so before i let you go i have to tell you about my new edge butter it's coconut and ginger and it has real cayenne pepper in it real ginger and a host of other organic only oils no fillers and parabens and all that other stuff it is absolutely amazing to order yours visit cecilywyatt.com thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe